Awesome, awesome, awesome. Let's see. We are recording. We are live. Good afternoon, everyone. Hope you're doing well. Today is February 3rd, 2021, and this is Chicho, and welcome to a live stream and another comic book haul video. Awesome, awesome. I've been expecting this comic haul uh, to arrive for over a month. <laughs> it's a big one. <laughs> it just keeps on going and going and going and going and going and going and going. And going. It's not even possible to keep going and going and going. And there it is, right? fantastic and this is an unscheduled live stream i just let people know this morning uh, that we we're gonna do one i mentioned that we might do one uh today at around 2 30 p.m on february 3rd woohoo chicho the real mc mike is that all comics and it is it's you know what it it's it, there's loose stuff in there i had to go through ebay shipping program so the seller probably put it in boxes tight and then send it to eBay's global shipping program and then they put it into this thing and send it to me. But there's a few books here. We're looking at about uh, probably close to 100 books. Okay, all of them Valiant. All of them Valiant. And it took some wheeling dealing uh, to get that going. I'm here, Elder God, how you doing? <laughs> I hope you're doing well. <laughs> Have fun. I think we're gonna wait. Uh, about a couple of five minutes let's say we wait five minutes and then we dig into this thing right and gang what do you think this is what do you think this is what do you think this is <laughs> feels the weight feels like more comics <laughs> indeed and it, and it sort of feels like 13 comic books to me i hope man i hope it is <laughs> not sent. so notification is not sent yet okay we'll wait out for people we'll wait out for people because i know people were waiting for this all we're not going to show the 13 yet I think we'll probably wait for the 13 tomorrow. Oh my God, yes, let's go. Void, how you doing? A lonely Piggy, hello, hello. Hope you're doing well. Slick Mick, how are you? Mark Zuckerberg loves balls. <laughs> Hilarious. Super fun, super fun. Dragons, how are you doing? Nice. Is this uh, unscheduled? This is unscheduled. I announced it uh, this morning. I mentioned that we're probably going to do one. X, how are you doing? Hope you're doing well. Millsy115, hello, hello to another live stream. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope everybody's doing fantastic because we're going to dig into some comic books right now. We're going to dig into some comic books. And I just, after I sent out the notification today on, on all the platforms, I got a notification that the 13 comics that arrived. I'm fingers crossed it's a 13 comics, really. I <laughs> I don't know, right? Dark Ruler Wiz. Hello, Chicho. Hey, Chicho and chat. Hello, hello. Welcome to a live stream. Dancing Virgil, how are you doing? Nice jungle background. Thanks. <laughs> it's awesome. Here, let me turn on the lights. Let's see if this is going to make a difference. Oh, show the show the uh, stained glass better. <laughs> There's like you guys are gonna see a contrast when I hold up the covers uh, to see them, right? We got to see if those thirteen are there. I know gravity of the situation. I don't think we're gonna have enough time today. Um, if we do, if the lighting stays, I don't think it's gonna stay. Even right now, it's not perfect <laughs> lighting because it's going on the side. <laughs> I'm counted for that um, because it's supposed to be just overcast. I, I don't really account for sunshine during the winter on the west coast of Canada. Not too much, anyway, right? I gotta keep it in mind. Uh, we're getting slowly into the spring, so we'll see. Uh, if we don't end up doing the 13 today, and if we do, we're gonna 
cut this string because this is all valiance and then we're going to get into these ones but i doubt if we're going to get into these ones because i want to set up the pages i want to know i want to let you guys know what they are right so i gotta open up the pages and do the uh, do the stuff oh seriously i'm crazy anxious to crack this open but i'm willing to wait for tomorrow for us to do it together dragons by the way i watched the human rights stream last night good stuff awesome awesome i think it was important for us to do i'll have that up on uh, uh bitchute rumble and uh sensor tube in the next week within the next week or so my discord crazy account was deleted for hate speech <laughs> i'm serious elder god <laughs> what <laughs> discord crazy account is that the page you set up it's crazy look into the politics folder elder god what i posted today on our discord what canada end up doing but that's politics let's leave politics on politics gang let's do a comic stream as for who i am i'm on patreon thank you for the support for those of you who are supporting this work on patreon we're live streaming on twitch we're going to get into this comic book call asap we're live streaming on twitch so if you want to be on these live streams participate live as they're taking place uh, twitch is where you want to be at i do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live or 15 minutes before we go live or just before we go live and we share additional information on mines lovk gap parlor when it comes back online and twitter and we do have a discord page okay Da, 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 da. and for live streams where we have visuals or no visuals we upload the audio to soundcloud.com and they should be those podcasts should be available in your favorite podcasting platform including spotify and itunes and we will be uploading this video this live stream to sensor to bit shoot and rumble and we don't have enough points on uh odyssey so whenever we get points we'll upload to odyssey as well but for now uh youtube bit shoot and rumble and rumble is giving me a little bit of hiccups but we'll continue to do what it is that we are doing let's get on to a comic book haul seven minutes in right on gang let me tell you what the story behind this comic book haul is now i've mentioned before that i refuse to buy any more comics from any seller in the united states that was using ebay's global shipping program but i still track auctions right so and i've seen some books go for prices that i would have paid 10 times more to get but the person was going through ebay's shipping pro, uh, program so i didn't bid on them right but this lot i was tracking and the seller had listed it and if it was in the us i would have grabbed it you know and he had to make an offer i would have grabbed it right off the bat but i was in i'm in canada and he was going through ebay's global shipping program and I, w I didn't pull the trigger right and it didn't sell and then when it doesn't sell ebay sends you another notification uh, hold on I'm not, dodge dodge to the moon as zara says zara how you doing and um i didn't pull the trigger right so the guy relisted it and then it didn't sell again and the guy relisted it for the same price actually he might have lowered it a little bit right so he had some other valiance on there so i contacted the guy i said listen are you willing to sell this lot without going ebay's global shipping program and he said listen i just want to go through there it's simpler and stuff like this i go uh dude you got some other auctions that i want to bid on but from my experience ebay's global shipping program doesn't allow you to combine shipping so if i'm gonna pay that much for shipping then i'd rather get a whole bunch of more things that way the shipping you know i don't get burned as much he goes yeah 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 sure i'll combine shipping i go look dude i don't think ebay's global program allows you to do that and he said no 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 we can do it All right dancing vigil chicho good on you for not supporting the well yeah really but i did for this one like pff, crazy right uh sorry man i got to start on ebay and unload some of my books sorry it says <laughs> famous last words i might actually list some books on ebay tomorrow i'll see i'll see that was very nice so uh i said okay man if you think you think if you think you can combine shipping sure i'll make you an offer so i made him offer like three different lots three or four different lots and i said this is only on the condition that we can combine global shipping or we can combine shipping right and then the guy accepted all my offers okay and then it took a few days for him 
you know, a couple of days later, you know, I caught him. I said, listen, you can send me the invoice anytime you want. I'll pay. I can get this book sent to me. He goes, oh, dude, I'm having a hard time combining shipping. I'm like, dude, I told you. <laughs> Global shipping program doesn't allow combining shipping. He goes, oh, I've never seen. I've never encountered this. This is so stupid. I go, dude, that's the reason I don't want to go through Global shipping program plus other reasons, right? He goes, and plus this. Like, really, this box has got holes in it at the back. Take a look. Like, it's been punctured and stuff, right? Like, what the hell is up with that? Right? I go, look, they don't handle the books well and stuff. He goes, look, I understand if you want to cancel your, your, your buys. I said, yeah, man, I'm not going to. Because when it wasn't combined, it was going to cost like $90 US, like $75 plus duties US to get them shipped to me. I'm like, dude, I'm not going to pay that. That's crazy. So he canceled everything. And then he said, listen, why don't I put them all in one lot? Or I might have mentioned that. Put them all in one lot. I'll buy them. And that's what he did. This lot, okay, there's probably around 100 books here. And it cost $145 US, okay. Shipping was $26 US and import charges were around $13 US. So let's say 40. So this lot cost total of $184 US, okay. That's the story behind this buy birdie here i notice on ebay when you watch a comic often they will offer you a better price uh, than the buy now price exactly that's one of the things i've been doing right sometimes you get 25 percent discount five percent ten percent thirty percent discount so i'm like okay cool those damn big text sensor everything now damn is profanity now <laughs> damn is profanity now damn yeah, there's uh, auto mod and you there's censorship going up the yin yang gang. It's crazy. It's usually a ten percent discount. Yeah, the real Mike Mega, and that's why I'm on Brax. Me now to F and then F. Also buy crypto. <laughs> see Mike. Oh man, I wish I had some uh, Ethereum. Ethereum. Yeah, my bad guys. Thought answer like thought is being. Check this out. T H O T was being censored by Automod. Oh, <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> like, seriously, what? I don't even know why the hell that. What does that mean? Derp, like, my state just started requiring sales tags on it. Yeah, they started a few months ago, which is insane. Uh, eBay, so it's making it harder to want to sell there. Plus, uh, their 13% fees. I've been resorting to um, other third-party services and CGC boards. Uh, eBay seller buyer protection are hard to pass up though. Uh, you know what, uh, Dirt Flog, if you're selling your comics on any other platforms that you think are legit, let us know, okay, uh, on Discord. I might start going on there because uh, it's crazy. That whole... Oh man, I'm gonna look gang. Automod is zapping a lot of comments. I don't know why. So I'm allowing stuff, but I'm gonna crack this baby open. Okay. <laughs> like so much tape on it, but it's all bad tape. Like take a look at this thing. Let me move my chair back take a look at this <laughs> hilarious let me correct this open too please please don't be damaged that's all I'm hoping right that's all I'm hoping uh, what is that smell comic books <laughs> Like, look at this packaging. Like, this is eBay's global shipping program. I don't know what they do. They open it up and then they put it, like, the guy must have packaged this nicely and then eBay's global shipping program just, I swear, what a wacko, <laughs> what is this? 
I thought those are supposed to be comic books in there that are flowing wide open. Oh man, here, let me show you this. This is the way eBay's global shipping program works. I'm gonna show you this, just so you, you appreciate how horrendous they are. Really, take a look. Take a look at this. This is the way the comics are. So it's not tight. Like these are flying around, right? What up? Like, that's not the way you ship comic books. <laughs> like what? That's craziness, right? That's craziness. And that's the reason we don't try not to go through eBay's global shipping program. My God, look at this foamy stuff. This stuff is the nastiest. Man. <laughs> okay, this is like, I gotta get rid of this box. I gotta get rid of this box. This is nasty. This is nasty. Um, this is nasty. Okay. Let me do this. Let me put these here for now. Like, look at this. Like, look at this. Right? Like, absolutely pathetic, absolutely pathetic. And people say why you don't want to go through eBay's global shipping program. Absolutely insane. people working in eBay's warehouse because they're being paid slave wages, right? It's eBay. They're just trying to have another way to make more money. Right? Absolutely horrendous. That said, it was a good deal, okay? It's the styrofoam stuff, it's this stuff. It's this styrofoam stuff that, you know, they ship electronics in and whatnot. Crazy stuff. It makes for some good ASMR though. The sounds of it. Okay. 
Okay, let's close this thing up. Let's get rid of this guy. Oh my god. Let's get rid of this. Yikes. So nasty. So nasty. Let's close this off. No, no, don't feel bad, uh, dragons. Uh, it's unfortunate. I wish they were packed nicer, man. Really. Like, why would you do this? Yeah, let's put this guy here. Let's put this guy here. Let's put these guys here. Let's do this. Okay, that's good. They're all in bags and boards, so they were protected. Right, take a look. But that's crazy. <laughs> like. Okay, well, I'm gonna take a picture of these games. I hate to do it, but I'm gonna take a picture before we uh, do yeah, they, I gotta vacuum the whole place up for sure. For sure. Like, the cats will eat the stuff up. And this area actually, we've cordoned off so the cats can't get in here, right? We've partitioned off because there's no way we were able to make everything kitty proof. Our whole, <laughs> our whole space. So we gotta heat uh, some places about a half, about. Uh, a third of the house kitties can't go into. Okay. Wow. Look at this. I'm just going to take a couple of pictures, gang. Just to be on. Uh, like, that's craziness. <laughs> Look at this stuff. Look at that. But I'm not going to return these. I mean, it was a good deal. Uh, I'm okay with it. Uh, as long as all the books are there, I'm okay with it. Right? I, I wish it was... Uh, the books were treated better. But, you know, we can't expect everyone treat, to treat comic books as a collector. Right? So, let's see what we got. Because those books, you were, oh, a top fiver. Check this out. Check this out. They arrived today, right? Now, I don't think we're going to have time to look at them today. But I'm going to do an unscheduled comic book haul tomorrow. Gang, think about what time you want that comic, haul, a comic book haul to be. Uh, we can do it in the morning. Okay. Let me know when you guys would be cool with it okay my cats would love that box they would indeed yeah do the cats sleep in uh your room or on their own bed they have their own uh, their own bed they have their own bed uh multiple beds around the house awesome stuff awesome i'm hoping it's there Th those are the 13 books we've been waiting for it's like three months now right morning works for me I vote morning crack says okay let me know when uh, at the end of the stream let me know when you guys want to do it so gang this is what we got here we got a full run of bloodshot number one the first series including the last issues supposedly anyway we're gonna take a look at it full run of the second bloodshot series okay we got quantum and woody number one um, let, me make, let me make sure I got the thing here number one to three okay so we got quantum woody number one to three almost a complete run of shadow man and exo for the 2000 and uh 2000 for the i think it's for this has been so long it took, it's, it's taken a month and a half for this to get there right and because we put all the packages together he just listed them he didn't include pictures or anything right so it was hard for me to remember i forgot to save them um 
so they were in my watch list uh, so it should be a near a complete run of shadow man and a near complete run of exo man of war from the acclaim series right so i'm pretty psyched for this i'm pretty psyched for this i've been chasing the uh trying to get the full uh first series bloodshot together but the last issues go for a mint right so so obviously these are not going to be in order <laughs> okay kung fu fighter man i hope it's there i hope it's there let's check these guys out oh wow he's put multiple issues <laughs> He's got how many? Oh, nice! Here's the Quantum of Woody, and the Visitor was in this too. Cool. Oh man, I have to crack these open. What? Oh, nice, nice. Okay, no, there's these ones. Okay, cool. Let me show you this. Okay, here's Quantum Woody. Man, for some reason these look huge. <laughs> nice. And this is the first appearance of Quantum of Woody. Sweet, sweet, sweet. And they're in Mylar. Like he put them in Mylar bags. These ones are in Mylar. Or My Light. They're in My Light. So, first appearance of Quantum of Woody. Fantastic. I got this run, right? We bought it a few a couple of years ago, I think. Uh, apologies about the lighting gang so quantum woody number one quantum woody number two right let's see if it's better further out <laughs> nice and quantum woody number three and the first appearance of the goat as well right fantastic fantastic so these i, I forget the, the, how much he was offering he, he put them up but i made him offer he took it so everything here that you see was a hundred and whatever dollars and the condition of quantum woody number one is pretty sweet i'm going to crack open quantum woody number one okay i just want to check the condition because this is one of the keys in the lot and awesome the guy put them in mylar right nice nice comic very nice it's got a little bit of break here and a little bit up here but i would grade this at least a nine okay take a look that's the back cover 9.2 minimum nice sharp edges nice nice if all the books are in this condition fantastic this comic came out in uh 98 let me see 97 1997 okay 1997 yeah it would have been uh turok yeah i believe so yeah for the n64 turok for the n64 great game by the way great game i have this or i should have this I, i've played this anyway okay fantastic really happy to have this i'm gonna have to bag and board uh these the the boards he, he's got them in are uh, they're not the uh, acid free boards doesn't look like it so let's put this back. What's sweet that's in it is in Mylar. Okay, I got a comic book box here, short box. So I'm gonna start putting things in this. The 13, the 13. Let me put these guys here. And then these ones, I don't have this series. And this is the visitor. Check this out. 23 yeah really good condition look really good 
So I'm not going to crack this open. So this should be the visitor. It, sh it looks like it should be 12 comics. It goes up to issue number 12. So I'll show you the covers for these ones. So here's cover of number three. And I don't have this series, right? Look at the play, just watch. <laughs> 24, I wish. Here's uh, number five, right? And I don't have this series. So super happy to get it, right? Here's number 12. Okay, I'm assuming number one is in here somewhere. This is number 11. foamy stuff here's number seven that's ninjack on there take a look and here's number nine nice cover nice cover but valiant published uh, started publishing in 1990 right in 1990 dragons and um There are some great comics from that period. Let's check this out. What's this one? I forgot the visitor was in there too. Quantum and Woody number one is one of the main key ones. No, no, they went up to, I think they went up to 90. 96 or something and then bought got bought out uh changed their name to acclaim <laughs> harbinger right <laughs> why does he have harbinger here right Rye in the future force <laughs> that's crazy check this out <laughs> this is Rye in the future force I don't know why I included this because I didn't really I didn't bid on this one I hope a bloodshot is here oh my god if it's not I'm gonna freak this is Rye number 19 Rye number 20 right this is a cool cover Rye number 21 cool cover Rye number 22 Hope Bloodshot is in here. Right, number 24. Right, number 25. Right, number 26. And I don't have these later rise. Right, number 27. Nice. I forget how many issues rise goes, goes till. Rye number 28. Rye number 29. Okay. And then for some reason, he's got a Harbinger here. Harbinger number 15. I don't remember this being in the lot. Oh, yeah, you're in February, Elder God. Here's Rye number six, and I have this. This is the Unity crossover, Rye number seven. Okay. He's thrown in, put in two copies of Rye and the Future Force number nine. A copy of Rye and the Future Force number 10. Maybe he's a fan of the channel. Maybe I don't know. He didn't. I guess my name is Chicho, so he could have figured it out. This is Rye number eleven. Two copies of Rye number eleven. Rye number twelve. So this looks like uh, I already have Rye one to five, six, one to five. So this is Rye number twelve. Rye number thirteen. So this looks like a full Rye run, except for one to. Uh, one to five rye number 14 comic man yourself sorry stuck up in the valiant for the impending universe boom maybe i just 
man i just love i'm sort of chasing i don't have the full valiant runs right so i'm putting them together Rye number 15 Rye number 16 and i don't have these ones by the way and by the way gang thank you for the follows thank you for the subs i appreciate them Rye number 17 right so i think i almost have a full run of rye how far how high up did rye go i can't remember rye number 18. Okay. i don't know what the harbinger was doing in this Oops. so this is rye 19 to 28 i believe rye 19 to 28 Come on, bloodshot. Volume one to forty issues. Oh, so forty issues, okay. So we got it up to twenty eight. baby looks beautiful looks beautiful you roll the dice with ebay's global shipping program and sometimes it pays off volume one um one to 40 volume three 93 issues no volume two 93 issues oh that's because of the 2012 relaunch i'm assuming right check this out let me show you these and I don't have this and man I am crazy happy to now have a complete run of blood well this is number 35 we'll go through it hopefully it's gonna be I haven't the first few issues few dozen two dozen issues and stuff or yeah two dozen ah, let's say dozen plus right or let's say dozen so I'm happy that these are in here oops sorry totally wrong lots of valiance volume one is 16 issues yeah and I have a volume two 16 issues sorry so check this out this is bloodshot number 35 awesome 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 bloodshot number 36 right bloodshot number 36 bloodshot number 37 hell yeah and supposed to be the second movies coming out as well they've already approved it bloodshot number 38 gold mine hit the jackpot dude for the price i paid it's pretty damn sweet bloodshot number 39 Bloodshot is a character I want to get into, uh, but uh, don't know where to start though. Uh, Punisher Max, I would say start with Bloodshot Volume One. If you want to, if you want to start old school, if you want to start new, go to Bloodshot, uh, 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 the third volume that was launched in 2012. Uh, that was Jeff Lemire. Bloodshot, the third volume from 2012, is brilliant, fantastic, and then or was that uh and then bloodshot reborn bloodshot reborn is absolutely amazing as well thank you lord javier number one thank you for the twitch prime sub bloodshot number 40 nice cover crack nice did you see a jump in price when the first movie was announced uh to a certain degree um when it came out but as far as i'm concerned it's undervalued so, compared to the big two comic books valiant comics are so undervalued it's insane right the first movie was quite good after a second watch was it elder god nice this is bloodshot number 41 i've only watched it once 
I might watch it again. Bloodshot number 41. Jeff Lemire writes everything. These Jeff Lemire is fantastic dragons. My pleasure, Punisher Max. I hope you enjoy the read. But uh, Bloodshot from 2012 and then Bloodshot Reborn is the second series from the relaunch. It, it picks up from um, uh, Book of Death, I believe, right? Really good. This is a beautiful cover. Look at this thing. Bloodshot number 42. Look at that cover. Big are Marvel and DC or am I new? Yeah, the big two are Marvel and DC. Yeah, void. Big two. Bloodshot number 43. The prices for Valiant and Old Wizard issues were so high. Indeed. Indeed. Bloodshot number 44. This is a cool cover too. What is that? A Bloodshot Lady? That looks like a Bloodshot Lady. Number 44. Ah, go enjoy dinner crack. Bloodshot number 45. Now we're getting into the later issues. The prices on these are getting higher. I think Bloodshot number 51 only had 3,500 print run or something. Okay. Evening Valiants, how are you doing? We got a Valiant comic book haul. Bloodshot number 46. Elder God, Bloodshot should have been a younger unknown actor though. Uh, but money won the day. Yeah, I agree with you. But Vin Diesel wasn't bad. I like Vin Diesel. And he suited the character, but it should have been an unknown. Bloodshot 47. Sweet. <laughs> Bloodshot 48. Look at the sweetness. Very nice. Very nice very nice bloodshot number 49 and these look like they're in really good condition gang bloodshot number 49 bloodshot number 50 bloodshot number 50 bloodshot number 50 nice cover nice cover who made these bloodshot covers i don't know uh tom Ryder, mark morel moratti sean chen and tom Ryder. i don't know if sean chen would have been uh, the cover artist as well but they're very nice beautiful covers like look at that nice cover and one of the holy grails in comics bloodshot number 51 baby <laughs> you know how long i've been chasing this thing i lost my opportunity once to buy a graded one at a 9.8 that went for like 50 bucks or 70 bucks or something bloodshot number 51 let's crack this baby open let's crack this baby open let's check it out let's check it out i just want to see the condition right sweet 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 let's throw this here let me have a sip of tea valiance is funny turning into these streams now i always see new names i like an oh i'm like an old timer it's been like three years since you started i know a lot of people let's take a look at this let's take a look at this oh what a beautiful copy let's check it out okay it's got dent dent not bad not bad a little bit of stress not bad not bad we take it we take it it's got a little bit of stress there a little bit there this would be graded out like a 9 9.2 let's say 9 i take it i'm happy with it it completes it completes right so take a look you can see a little bit of let me show it to you, All right? 
So I would grade this as a nine. Okay. And let me see if I can get the lighting on this. So you see the reflection. Um, da -da 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 let me see. Let's see. Let's see. Can you see the things on there? You can't even see the things on there. Come on. Come on. Can you see it? Can you see it? Maybe this way. Oh, there they are. You see? Oh, a little bit anyway. It's not much. This one is more. Which one? This one is more. See that? Over here? It's over here. Right? See that? Right? Not bad. We take it. Be harsh on the judging. Sit back and enjoy. Oh, and the popcorn. It, it, a top fiber. The last, the last few issues of Bloodshot, they were really low print run top fiber. So I believe this one, Bloodshot number fifty one, had thirty five hundred print run or something like this. I think Bloodshot number fifty had around four thousand, four thousand five hundred, and then Bloodshot number forty nine was around four thousand five hundred or something. So the really low print runs, right? So just imagine Bloodshot, a major character, right? movie movie put out it's been you know 20 30 year comic book character multiple comics multiple amazing artists writers have written uh worked on it right there could only be ever 3500 complete runs right right that's the reason again don't forget Free Assange, Free Assange, Free Assange. Julian Assange is a publisher and journalist that has been crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capital out as power to humanity. For more information, see our, see our Julian Assange and WikiLeaks playlist on SensorTube or go to wikileaks.org. Okay. They're pretty good shape. Dragons, they're really good shape. Considering they were banging around in this gigantic box, I'm quite happy. I'm quite happy. What's this one? Rye. Rye again. Look at the sweetness. Rye number 10. So these are random. So these are the, I can't look at the description again. This is, I don't even know if these are supposed to be in here. Like I forget what the guy was gonna include. Uh, Shadow Man and XO, it was supposed to be Shadow Man and XO. So we're seeing Rise here too. Rye number 10. Okay. XO Man of War number three. This is from the, Ah, oh, this is still Valiant. Nice. I think he just threw all the Valiants in here for some reason. Unity number one. Crossover. Okay. Oh, Shooter. This is a claim. So Shooter was writing. So check this out. Shooter, Starlin, and Robinson. Look at that. Shooter Starlin. Wow, I didn't know that. And this is a claim unity. So that's pretty cool. Sean Shen was a Marvel artist shortly after. I remember his Iron Man issues. Really? Okay. That's an interesting question. Time for first comic uh, to first movie of comic superhero. Yeah. Okay, let's check this out. Let's check out the rest of these. I got a feeling this guy just threw in whatever valiance he had or something. So this is Unity number two, Unity 2002 of six. And again, Shooter and Starlin. And then this is double two comics in here. Was this two comics as well? No, Unity number one was one comic. He's got two comics in here. I gotta have to re-bag and board these. I gotta go to a comic store and get bags and boards. 
Here's Exo Man of War number one from. This should be a claim. Yeah, this is a, a claim. So this is the 2000 and uh, um, not 2000. This is late 90s series. Exo Man of War number one. Exo Man of War number two. Cool. I have some of these. Exo Man of War number three. Cool. Exo Man of War number four. Wade. Exo Man of War number five. This thing says Wade. I wonder if it's Mark Wade. Number five. Right? It's got weight down there. I don't know if it's Mark Wade or not. Or the rest weight as well. Yeah, yeah, Wade, Wade, Wade. Uh, number one doesn't say who it is. But I'm assuming it would be Wade as well. Is number two Wade? Yeah. Augustine e uh, Eaton and Hudson is XO number 13. That's a cool cover. XO number 14. XO number 15. You're not an XO fan? XO is good, man. I like XO. Oh, the God. X XO number 18. How could you not like a barbarian with a living XO skeleton that is really just a virus that annihilates uh, planets <laughs> exo number 19 i'm not sure how the stories are, are on these i haven't read any of these i don't know which exo with this one is there's no number on it that if that's 19 this is probably 20. okay there's no number on it Here's EXO number six. Cool. I'll hold them closer so you guys see the covers better. EXO number seven. This is very like people are saying image influence, right? After all these years, revenge. Who is this guy? Exo number eight. <laughs> Subtle killer lover. Exo number nine. So almost a near complete run of Exo. Awesome. Exo number eleven. Good comic book haul. Good comic book haul. This is from the 2012 relaunch. It's got to be. But I don't remember this cover. Exo number three. There was the Exo Manoir Iron PlayStation game around these things. Yeah, I remember those. Okay, let me put these. Close these up. Let's see what else we ended up getting. Let's see what else we ended up getting. Do you have a preferred one between the big two? Do I have a preferred one between the big two? Um, Marvel, Marvel is sort of killing it right now, right? He's, they're doing really good. Uh, I sort of treat them the same in a, in, in a big way. Okay. Uh, I don't like the aspect of the Disney part of Marvel, 
Right. Here's bloodshot number 16. Bloodshot number 17. These are common. Bloodshot number 18. Bloodshot number 19. <laughs> Got a complete bloodshot run. Awesome. My parents are sending the comics to me tomorrow uh, with my death head. Uh, 1980s collection, nice. Bloodshot number 20. Awesome, Elder God, finally. Dumb question, but was the Marvel UK imprint used outside the US? Uh, yeah, the characters do appear. I mean, some of the characters, main characters in Marvel Universe, they appear first in the Marvel um, UK imprint, right? 21. 22. Twenty three. Is that Harada? No, it's not Harada. Twenty four. What's the oldest comic I own? Um, into the nineteen forties. I own I own comics that are like probably late nineteen forties, mid nineteen forties. That would be the oldest. Bloodshot number 26. Bloodshot number 27. Rampage. 27. Oh, this was a crossover with Ninja because that's Rampage number one of five. Here's Rampage part three of five, but it's Bloodshot number 28. And that would have been with Ninja crossover. Bloodshot in his birthday suit. Nice artwork, yeah. Bloodshot number 29. All right. Oh man, I was lurking. Uh, can you reshow all the other a bloodshot of <laughs> we can't have Barney's <laughs> there was a few of them man <laughs> you're gonna have to watch the video we got these guys to go through we don't want to lose the light right bloodshot number 30 I'll show 51 uh, uh, 50 and 49 again those are really important ask the audience on that one Mine is a 1943 comic. Elder God, 1943? Yeah, what's the oldest comic you guys have? Bloodshot number 31. Was color printing even a thing back then? Uh, I'm a 94 kid. Yeah, they did color printing. Right? It was a different process. So it was offset printing, I believe. That's what they called it. 32. Right? Tier three sub for anyone who can find bloodshot using iron sights on a scope. Iron sights or a or a scoop sights. What do you mean iron sights or or a scoop? Number thirty three. Look at the eyes on that one. Oop, let me move my fingers. Look at the eyes on the girl's face. Vampire. Oh, not shooting about it from the hip. Things you aim with a, f a rifle, a uh, firearm. Ah. This one I think is fetching a higher price and it looks like it's great condition. Uh, bloodshot number 34. I think it's the first appearance of this dude. Bloodshot number 35. Plastic is a little torn. So that's a complete bloodshot. Uh, we need the one and stuff. Let me put these guys in here.
check this out i forget who it was can you show the uh blood shots again uh weekend at barney's here's number 49 here's number 49 okay these are sought after here's number 50 sought after very much okay and here's number 51 very much sought after this is the most sought after bloodshot book actually okay. i wouldn't mind getting my hands on a graded one but a raw copy is good for me a complete run is even better sweet sweet and gang don't forget free assange free assange free assange julian assange is a publisher and journalist that is being crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of power capital of power to humanity for more information see the julian assange and wikileaks playlist as well as wikileaks.org those are 2012 years. no this bloodshot run is uh, 1990s mid 1990s early 1990s to mid 1990s nice 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 and nice complete run of shadow man from the 2012 relaunch including the first appearance of punk mumbo damn <laughs> I feel like number 50 are so different from the last ones you showed yeah those were earlier uh those for uh all the way up to the 1930s and then 1930s continued and then um the style changed right the different artists showed up right so i don't have these ones okay nice nice this is like a mini uh death comes to all uh shadow man entities Oh, sorry shadow one end times number one this is a three issue mini right shadow man number two end times shadow man number three end times i haven't read this one yet i like shadow man the original valiant uh, run from the 90s of shadow man was fantastic shadow man number zero awesome shadow man number one this is the uh, first valiant relaunch series the 16 issue run and we got it right shadow man number one shadow man number two Some people didn't like this run i read it. it wasn't bad i liked it there's few there's like three issues in there that were phenomenal shadow one number three with uh dark sides da uh, daughter and son whoa those issues were phenomenal really good i think that was shadow one number 10 and 11 or something shadow one number four beautiful shadow one number five i love this cover this is very it's sort of a tribute to the shadow man series from the 1990s with uh which issue was this uh it was dark side and eternal warrior or was it on the eternal warrior series um it's a tribute to that in the low tens insane art beautiful covers i love this one this is it's got to be one of my favorite valiant covers of a relaunch i like master dark this guy this character is one of the greatest evils in comic book evil characters in comic book history really valiant look one thing you can decide on you can you can judge a comic book series or a comic book universe not based on their heroes but based on their villains 
and Valiant has some of the most amazing villains ever. Three of them being Master Dark, which is that guy, Harada, which is one of the other villains, and uh, the um, Eternal Enemy. Okay, is is another one. Thank you for follows, gang. Okay, and the subs, of course. Shadowman number seven. Shadowman number eight. Wow, nice. That's Master Dark right there, I believe. Chicho, you can tell me what the Book of Death was. Uh, like, was it a detailed summarization of certain Valiant comic characters? Yeah, Book of Death was the origin of uh, the Anipada families and uh, the Geomancer. Okay, number nine. And it kicked into bloodshot it was an important series oh this these two issues are absolutely phenomenal right i believe starts in this i might be shadow man number nine as well i can't remember exactly look at this cover what an amazing issue this was these two okay this is master dark's daughter and you realize how evil master dark is in this series brilliant really this issue blew me away hello never been big into comics but they are really interesting watching you go through no place. and shadow man number 11 i think goes into this series the two or three okay this issue shadow man number 12 Important, important, very good, very good. Let's see if we can get used to you. Shadow Man number 13. Sweet, sweet. First appearance of Punk Mumbo. Number 13. Very good, very good indeed. Must read Valiant. Very happy about this. Should we crack this one open, gang? Should we see the first appearance of Punk Mumbo? Let's see if we can find it. I, I don't know. I think I have this series. Welcome new followers indeed. Let's check this one out. Important book. Another key book. We got runs and key books in this. Very good. As far as great goes, how great this is like. Let's say 8.59, okay? And it's a variant cover, I believe. Let's see if we can find, let's see the back. Yeah, yeah, I would definitely agree this is a nine. At least a nine. Let's see the first appearance of Punk Mumbo. We gotta find it. We gotta look at it. Oh, is that her? That might be her beautiful artwork. Look at this. Look at this. Very nice. Awesome. Oh snap! <laughs> very nice, very nice. Check this out. Check this out. Very nice. A major character first appearance. Very cool. Happy to get this. Happy to get this. Sweet. I'm still streaming. Sorry, how are you doing? Sweet. So, Shadow Man number 13. Shadow Man number 14. Beautiful cover. Wow. Beautiful cover. Look at that. Doing good, Sars. Thank you very much. Initially, we started off 
being very concerned about this haul and end up loving it loving it shadow man number 15 and face the time a final horror shadow man number 16 so this is a complete run of the shadow man series from the relaunch from 2012 right awesome awesome very good very good very good very good so we got basically a short box we got two more to go through right? two more of these bags and i'm gonna leave this guy great feedback very good feedback <laughs> bloodshot more bloodshot check this out bloodshot number four. Oh, this is the uh, second bloodshot series i forgot we got this one too sweet <laughs> oh yeah nice did you pack them too nice yeah i did you put them two and one right so here's bloodshot number one okay at least everything is awesome mine is the shipping mine is the shipping and the duties i didn't like paying the duties on it but uh bloodshot number one bloodshot number four like father like son oh bloodshot number this one's two this one's two. Oh, look at this look at this bloodshot number two that's a great cover look at that awesome i don't have this right so very happy to have the complete run of this really bloodshot number three so basically i should have a complete run of everything bloodshot now awesome almost i guess there must be a couple that i'm missing there let's make these keep these in order here's this 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 i can put it this way yeah cover of the board was incredible yeah i got his number one so here's number five heroes uh, no this is number seven you might have seen number five here's number six Here's number number seven. That's a weird cover to distinguish, right? Chicho, can you tell me what the book of death was? Like, was it a detail? So, uh, 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 Weekend of Barney's. It was basically the origin of the Geomancer and the origin of the Anipada brothers and the origin of the uh immortal enemy or eternal enemy i always mix that up okay with together with okay the legends of the geomancer bloodshot number nine that's what the book of death was and it kicked the directly into bloodshot reborn which is a fantastic series okay el shender seven uh maybe a dumb question but will you read through all these or is it mostly for collecting it's mostly for collecting we will read we've already read some bloodshot right we read the first appearance uh did we read the first we read the for uh, rye number zero we read the first appearance of bloodshot right we've read the first appearance of uh rye the eternal warrior number 11. okay so we've read some valiant comics we read uh uh, what do you call it we've read a fall of harbinger number one we've read the first appearance of harbinger with harbinger number one we've read exo man of war number one here's bloodshot number 13 and it's not a dumb question here's bloodshot number 14 that was number 13 here's number 14 
Here's number 15. Here's number 16. Nice. Here's number five. Remember at a comic book hall, we just did like a month ago or so. This is the cover I was looking for, right? And I grabbed it for like a dollar or two dollars or something. We just got ourselves another copy. Sweet. It's a tribute to uh, Nick Fury, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. number one, right? Beautiful cover. I really like this. Who is Bloodshot? Very cool cover. Very cool tribute, right? And here's Bloodshot number 16. And don't forget, gang, free Assange, free Assange, free Assange. Julian Assange is a publisher and journalist that is being crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capital as power to humanity. For more information, see wikileaks.org and our WikiLeaks and Julian Assange playlist. Last bag. Chicho, did you watch Bloodshot movie adaptation? If so, did you think it was accurate? Uh, I watched it. We can have Barney's. It was it was OK. It was like a Vin Diesel action movie. Was it accurate? I would have made it a lot better personally, <laughs> like really. But it had some uh, it had some great moments. It had it was to a degree true to the origin of Bloodshot. OK, uh, it was just whatever it was. It could have been a lot better. Right. And here is the first issues of Bloodshot. Nice. <laughs> here is Bloodshot number zero. It's a chrome wraparound cover. So here's Bloodshot number zero. <laughs> Glows. And then it wraps around to the back. Okay. Should I crack it open? Let's crack it open and see it in its full glory. Check this out. Some really great stuff in this haul. Uh, it makes me happy. Yeah, me too, man. Me too. Wow, this is like so glary. Look at this. Like foil cover. So shiny. Let me open this up so you can see it. Here's the wraparound cover. Take a look. Wow. Nice. <laughs> it's like a 3D. Well, not a 3D, but very cool. Come on. I gotta remember to bring bags and boards to these halls because I'm gonna rebag and board that. Bloodshot number one, foil cover. Okay, that's tight. Yeah, I haven't read this comic. Bloodshot. Here's another copy of Bloodshot number one. I've <laughs> got two of them. <laughs> I think everybody that was buying comics during that period has two Bloodshot number ones at least. <laughs> Me included. <laughs> this one, this one, or the previous one. This is a cool cover. I remember uh, Ripper sent us a tribute to this cover. Wow, well, no, a tribute to Rye number one. Ah, uh, Rye number zero. Here's Bloodshot number two. This dream has got me in a nice, relaxed state. Awesome, I'm seeing my, I'm gonna write my math exam, but I'll have uh, this uh, on in the background. Nice, here's Bloodshot number two again. And I have all these issues. We can have one Chicho. Is there such a thing as a comic book with a uh, with a ten point zero? Yeah, there are. They go for ridiculous amounts of money. Just because they grade someone grades it at a perfect comic book, even if it's not a key issue or relevant, like they sell it for stupid amounts of money. <laughs> this bloodshot number four. I personally wouldn't pay the price for them, but I would sell them for what they're going for. Right. No, the cats are in the other room, Elder God. I closed uh, my partner's home, so my partner is with them. And we closed the door to this area. 
bloodshot number six and this is this is the first appearance of ninjak by the way it's common but it's the first appearance of ninjak right like new mutants number 98 is common uh amazing spider-man 361 is common but new mutants 98 first appearance of uh deadpool goes for hundreds and first appearance of carnage amazing spider-man 361 goes for hundreds as well right oh wow here's another one <laughs> here's another one <laughs> we got two <laughs> do you think you have any tens do i have any tens i i don't know like i don't even know what a 10 is i, I really don't know what a 10 is like i have no idea nice bloodshot last stand this one has a low print run as well bloodshot last stand i believe okay so this is good i must have a few tens i must like i have thousands of comics right i'm in canada here's bloodshot number one yearbook Whoop. bloodshot number one yearbook here is uh the first full appearance of ninjack first appearance on the cover number seven this is common as well okay is manga much different uh to comics uh not really manga is uh uh aside from reading it from the other way around uh manga a lot of mangas printed in newsprint and it's a lot cheaper than american comic books uh, like price wise you get a lot more bang for your money but no a lot of there's lots of uh, comic books like US comic books that are sort of manga stylish written here's bloodshot number 10 oh I don't know elder god number 11 daredevil number one would be one for sure harbinger number one would be one exo man of war number one magnus solar number one shadowman number one um bloodshot number 12. bloodshot number 13. And bloodshot number 14 look at this bloodshot got beat up oh hold on there's another one here bloodshot number 14 it looks like you were beat up at christmas time and hung out to dry haha <laughs> he's got a black eye look at that and bloodshot number 15 who's this guy oh this is bloodshot is on fire bloodshot number 15 nice Oh, I got G.I. Joe number one too. Is my prize cash. Yeah, G.I. Joe number one I was happy to get. I got G.I. Joe number one and two, but I don't have G.I. Joe number 21, the silent issue. Man, I could have picked that up for like 30 bucks of, uh, like five years ago, six years ago. And I didn't, now it's going for hundreds. Like if you got G.I. Joe 21, the silent issue, uh, it's going for mint money. Uh, I wish I picked it up. Unfortunately, I didn't. Hey Elijah, hey Elijah. <laughs> Gang, that's our comic book haul. Oh, kitty cat. Hi, kitty cat. That's gotta be via 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 meows like that. Yeah, via, what's up? How you doing? <laughs> you have one to thirty. Awesome elder god. Keep it. Uh, check on the price for uh the silent issue cats <laughs> and they're supposed to be like i never got into reading gi joe but supposedly there's some of the amazing comic books written i wish i got into them at the time but i just didn't right i wasn't into gi joe i wasn't into war in a, in that way right and gi joe was very imperialistic war type of thing so my politics got in the way of me collecting a, a very key issue and at some point I'm, I'm gonna try to collect them hey there chicho pandemic watch how are you doing gang i hope you enjoyed this comic haul it was a good comic haul very happy very happy 
very, very happy. <laughs> yeah, how's it going? I think it's time to go play with the kitty cats. Okay, man, good to see you. Lonely Piggy, thanks for the stream feature. Your cats call to you now. Yeah, they are, they are. He's jumped, jumped up to try to take a look at me. He's at the door. Can we see kittens before stream ends? We get a Barney's Comics figures number nine. Let me do my little outro. No, the kitty cats. He's chilling, man. He's chilling. We got a lot of uh, lot of comic book. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, not a comic. We got we put our fair bit of videos in the last little while uh, with uh, the kitty cats in there, right? We put a few -ish, a few uh, videos out, and there's going to be more coming. They're cute. They're super cute. One video we put out. This, uh, I'm putting segments out right now, and I'm gonna pull out the full video most likely tomorrow. Is like two an hour and a half of us talking about education and watching the kitty cats sleep, which is fantastic, right? And we played with the kitty cats and whatnot. Gang, thank you for being here. If you want to follow this work, I'm on Patreon. Patreon.com forward slash chicho, c h y c h o. If you want to support this work, if you want to know what this work is about, which is really layered on mathematics, and it is, this is comic book collecting. We've done a few videos like this, right? Collected a lot of data, right? Already got some spreadsheets together, right? It's layered on mathematics, and I don't put anything behind paywalls. Share and share alike. You can follow the work, and you think if if you think this work deserves your support, Patreon is a great way to support this work. And for those of you who've been supporting this work on Patreon, gang. Thank you very much for the support. It is seriously in large part because of your support that we're able to do this. And I think all of us uh, uh, send out a huge thank you to you. Fantastic stream. Keep collecting. Keep collecting birdie here, right? We are live streaming on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash chicho live, C H Y C H O L I V E. If you want to participate in the chat, that usually happens here. Twitch is where you want to be at. And gang, Thank you for the follows. Thank you for the subs. Thank you for being here. Thank you for the discussions. Thank you for the conversations. Thank you for the questions. Thank you for the suggestions and mods. Thank you for being here and having our backs and taking care of business. All right. I do announce these live streams before we go live on Minds, LO, VK, Gab, Parlor when it comes back online on Twitter. And we do have a Discord page. And you can come to our Twitch channel anytime you want and type in exclamation mark social and all the links to those platforms will come up including our discord page down here and you're welcome to join us on discord and participate in the discussion sometimes it gets hot and heavy sometimes it's just nice and chill discord is calm discord is compromised we're gonna have to set up another uh alternate platform as well right for live streams where we don't have any visuals we do upload the audio to soundcloud.com forward slash chicho c-h-y-c-h-o as podcast and they should be available on your favorite podcasting platform including spotify and itunes and this live stream this video will be uploaded to sensor tube to bitshoot and to rumble and if we have enough odyssey coins we'll upload it there as well we'll see when when we can get videos up there as well and if you're on those platforms you can support this work by following liking sharing commenting and if you're on youtube you can join youtube membership there's like a button here somewhere down there <laughs> okay gang i hope you had uh you had a good time on this uh comic book haul fantastic oh yeah tomorrow tomorrow morning did we decide i'm gonna do a live stream let's say tomorrow morning at some point anywhere between 10 to 11 we're gonna look at the 13 books we're gonna look at this this has been this has been three months in the process of getting to me okay it got to me but it was the wrong books so we had to send that back i sent that back two days ago uh the gideon falls that came it's <laughs> going crazy 11 a.m 11 a.m okay elder god 11 a.m thanks for the stream good to see you all stay safe gang stay safe gang okay 11 a.m it is elder god 11 a.m tomorrow morning pst my time we crack this baby open fingers crossed i'm gonna be itching until tomorrow morning to be able to take a look at this <laughs> we do together gang we do together i hope you guys have a fantastic next uh what is it 18 hours or so and we'll talk tomorrow morning at 11 a.m bye everyone